Okay, I come across this today. Um, I'm getting more concerned about the privacy online, to be honest, which is why I'm sharing this. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, you tap in search web history. Off we go. And it's, this is for my Google Plus account, which is something that Google's pushing that for everyone to have for Gmail, for everything, for um, apps, for mobile phones, etc. They all want a Gmail. Um, and there's a reason behind this. This is a bit you'll see. Um, when it loads, it's a little bit slow because I'm working off my phone at the moment. So I've logged into, as you can see, I'm logged in over here. This is my Gmail account and this is my history. So if you tap this in, uh, log into your Gmail and you will, uh, sorry, log into your Google account because this one's all interlinked with your Google Plus, your Gmail, everything. There you see. There's Matt to Wilkie at Gmail. This is my searches from today. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. Computer's playing up a little bit. Uh, you can see Learn to Drive Volvo Tipper. It's not only got all the information, it's got all the times that these were searched. Um, as you can see, it's quite random today because I'm searching for things for specific people. Um, but you can see 687 searches. It's telling you which ones I look for most. Um, and then you go, okay, well, how about not last month, but all time? 64,800. That's quite a lot of stuff. Um, it knows which links I've been on. It knows where I've been looking. It knows what I've searched online. You think, okay, what what damage can that do? Um, well, let's go into settings, shall we? Go to settings. So it's got that bit of information. It, it knows what I'm Google searching for. And this is where you can switch it on and off. This will turn it on and off here. Uh, you just slide that across. and But we'll leave that for a minute. Let's show more settings. Because this is why I have a concern over this. So let's, it's telling you what it's doing, right? The first thing is your search is in browsing activity. So it admits it's taking not only your web information, but app activity. So your phone's information is stored as well. Um, your searches, your maps. And when it says maps, it means it knows where you've been, where you're going. I have found on Google before where it's actually told, uh, told me where the locations are that I've been over a period of time. Stuff I hadn't given it knowingly, um, concerning about that, because there's no reason for it to have it. Uh, not from my point of view, anyway. Places you go, there you go. Location history creates a private map of where you go and where your logged in devices or to provide improved ma map searches, uh, commute routes, etc. Okay, um, why do you need to know where I've been? If I'm going somewhere, I'll tell you. Because um, I, I can understand it going, okay, you've been here, that, that's home. Uh, you know, like a sat nav, it'll say office, home, and it shouldn't really need to know that I go to Delicates and on the way home, uh, stopped off the computer shop. But I'm finding that Google's getting too smart for the wrong reasons. There you go, information from your devices. So it's now taking your contacts, calendars, and other information to improve your experience. What experience is it improving by taking my contacts? Can somebody define that for me? Stealing my contacts from my phone is improving my experience with Google. I don't think so. And this is the, the new level, because you know you get all your photos and it's going, that's Matt, that's them, you know, it's tagging, so it's building up an identity of you um, that can be recognized online. It's now doing it with audio as well. So your voice is now becoming uh, recognized. Uh, it says to improve speech recognition, but why do you need to um, save that um, except for my phone, my phone, right? And the reason I say my phone is this information is being centrally stored. It is not being stored for my use. It's been stored for storing. Um, I have concerns about who has access to this. 
uh, through security agencies. Not that I've done anything wrong, but the fact is nobody should have access to this information. This is uh, breaches of my personal space. It's my freedoms, it's my rights, and I feel that it's been stolen. It's stealing my voice. It's identifying me in photos as it is. It's stealing where I'm going, where I've been, my travel activities, anything I use. And even down to the videos I search on YouTube, which is fine for that because I only use YouTube for um, looking for like tutorials and things. I don't actually use it a lot. So I'm not really fussed that it took that. Uh, and it's got the search in information. But the whole point is I have concerns over the voice information being taken. Where is it actually going? Um, I have concerns over the the fact that it's storing my locations, where I've been. Because um, you may think, well, what, why is it such a big deal? Um, I've got a daughter that's a teenager. And my daughter loses her phone. And somebody has access to her account while they've got that phone. Or maybe her account gets hacked and somebody steals that information. They know where she goes. They know where, what night she goes to certain places. They know which location they are. It then puts my kids at risk. Um, and for what? Because I can't understand why they would need that information. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Because I don't see any of the added value in the maps. I don't see it telling me, I know you like uh, Chinese restaurants. Here's the next five in the location uh, that you're currently in. It's not putting them forward for me. So why does it need that information? And I haven't requested it to, to take that information and that's what's wrong with this. So for me, all this stuff is gonna be switched off. Searches and browsing activities, gone. And it's gonna give me this little thing here that tells me how they're doing such a great job for me and it's only temporary switched off. And Facebook's another one for this, we're switching things back on. There you go, pause web and app activity. Please know that when this segment is paused, Google may still use searches that you may you make within active sessions in order to improve the quality of your search results. I don't mind if it's specific for searches, but what I don't expect is to go into Facebook and find the searches I've done in Google, separate to Facebook, on say Amazon, popping up all around Facebook because it tells you they're as bad as each other. Uh, you can search and browse in incognito mode. I don't trust that. If they're doing this and telling me that they'll still search even though I switch it off, why would I entrust their incognito mode? The only mode I would actually trust is probably Tor um, by disconnecting myself from Google products. Um, there you go, pausing your web and app activity doesn't delete any of your previous activity, but you can view, edit, and delete your web activity whenever you like. Where? Is it here? Let's click on that. As you can see, I get quite annoyed with this stuff because I just feel that our freedoms are being stolen. Um, and people just sleepwalk into this stuff because everyone's saying how they're doing a great job for us. They're not. They're helping themselves to our lives. And it's strange I had to log back in there as well when I'm already here. So how do I delete everything? Uh, that's my search history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there... I don't want to see more. I want it all gone. Is it here? Yeah, there you go. Delete. So I'm going to remove all of that. See, today, yesterday, advanced. I don't... What, why do I need advanced? All time, remove. I want everything gone. Delete. And this is why I wanted to share this today. Because A, you're probably going to be shocked at how much information these... Um, corporations have because let's not let's be honest here Google is not a friend it's a company um, it's a company that sells your information to other companies and I have concerns they sell it to government organizations or hand them over so that they get free license to get up to what they do because quite simply Google's a monopoly 
Uh, Facebook's developing itself in a similar way. Um, it's going through its evolution process at the moment. As you keep seeing, things keep getting added to Facebook. Then it sees that it gets a backlash. Then it moves a little bit further forward and back a little bit and forward. It's doing exactly the same. Um, my concern here is, why is my results still showing? Let's do a renew. Are they all gone now? There you go. So that's all gone. That's how to do it. I won't uh, keep going on, but just be aware these things are going on and how much information they really have on you. Thanks for watching.